Uh, video number five. Um, and I'm going to read something that I feel is very important um, so the public fully understand the judicial review that we are actually trying to attempt to take on their behalf. And I think the best example of that is what Enda Craig and the community of Moville achieved uh, when they took a judicial review in 2013, even though they lost that judicial review. Moville Community for a Clean History European Commission hearing. And that's basically a re reference to where they had to go after they lost the High Court uh, challenge by judicial review. Members of Moville's community for a clean estuary are attending a European Commission hearing in Brussels on Monday the 23rd of March 2015. They are taking a complaint against Ireland in relation to compliance with European Directives 85337 and its access to justice provisions in respect of wastewater treatment proposal at Moville, County Donegal, Ireland. The complaint concerns a judicial review in the High Court Dublin before Judge Hedigan on the 5th and 8th of March 2013 in case number 21194JR Craig v M Board Panala. The complaint to the European Commission was lodged on the 30th of December 2013. The Community for a Clean Estuary believes that they were denied rights to environmental protection under EC law. When Anne Board Panala granted permission for the sewage scheme in 2011, they sought a judicial review of that decision. This took place in the High Court Dublin from March 5th to March 8th 2013. A request for a preliminary ruling by the ECG on the applicability of EIA directives at the outset of the High Court proceedings was refused and the hearing proceeded. The application, the applicant's case was based on the environment, environmental provisions of EC Directives 85337 as affirmed by the ECJ ruling concerning Ireland in case C50-09. Uh, the judgment of the High Court was given against, was given against the applicant on the 26th of August 2013. Mr. Andrew Craig, Chairperson, Community for a Clean History, said the judgment made it clear that the High Court failed to uphold the Court of Justice ruling in case C50-09 and relied on a narrow judicial review test quoting proceedings O'Keefe, McKechnie, In the Kenny v. and Board Panala and others. This was not consistent with the requirement in the EI Directive that the right to challenge relates to procedure and substantive legality and not to procedural legality only. The High Court failed to provide access to justice as provided in EIA directives. Mr Craig said appeal to the Supreme Court was not financially possible for local citizens already struggling to pay for their own accrued expenses to date. This was further squashed when the potential for award of all legal expenses for both sides against the applicant was raised. The outcome of this environmental case will have far-reaching consequences not only in relation to the quality of our seas around the nation and Ireland generally, but it will throw doubts on some domestic legislation and planning. Not only will it impact on the treatment of sewage and its discharge to the foil estuary, it will also impact on sewage discharge nationally and in particular the discharge of sewage into the Swilly. Enda Craig is chairperson of the community for a clean estuary. Now why I've read that out, I want people to fully understand how important Enda Craig's challenge was and I'm going to go into it in some more detail in the next video. And uh, um, I hope you've enjoyed the, the information that I've disclosed to you in this video. So thank you for watching. Watch out for the next video.